What's your professional diagnosis? Yeah, obviously you have bad bearings. Let's like, see. you can see the filings. Okay. Is that bad? Yeah, it doesn't sound good, does it? Oh. Be the guy. Okay. Oh, fuck. So we got the friggin' axle out of her. I'm just gonna pop these three for frigosexers out the back one, trace, thrice, and uh, then we cheached. I keep saying I'm gonna cheat, but then we just keep doing more work and stuff, but we got her all apart now. So I'll just take these last three cigarettes out and I'll probably just put the whole damn thing back together again before we teach again. But no, seriously, I'm going to go teach right now for freak sack. This is bullshit. Uh, these ones are a little bit stuck. They're coming. Slowly but cigarette Well, we got the three cigarette butts out of there, so if any luck. That'll just cigarette out of it. Holy shit. Of course that's stuck big time. So that's awesome. Caused some more damage and uh maybe after we replace the spindle, here we handle that. Now we plan. Shit, but yeah, that is completely stuck on there big time. It's just like cigarette. Fuck a sack. Anyways, I'll beat the shit out of that, try to get her off, but that's why I friggin' I leave everything for so long, boys. It's because it's always gonna be a pain in the ass, I just know it. Holy shit boys, I'm not kidding. I've been beating the shit out of this thing for 20 minutes, 20 minutes with the air hammer air chisel whatever and uh, it wasn't until I got a smaller hammer so I could get a bigger swing accurate, accurate swing that uh, I was able to budget it all and it's only fuck, I don't know a hundred thou freaking cigarette so But I've just friggin' chew cigarettes. Program. But I just keep working on it. Because this cocksucker's coming out of there one way or another. Beg my part. Oh, well, I think I got her, boys. Friggin' right I did. So holy shit. That sure is crusty in there. So I'll clean that up. And we'll start the reassembly. Well, I don't know if it's a recommendation or not, but uh, I'm going to put a little anti-seize in there because these are just uh, cheap old friggin' uh, bearings. So I'm probably going to have to change it again sometimes. So, make life a little easier for next time. A little anti-seize on there, but part. I'll even do the friggin' the flat face there a little bit. Just for, just because we're here, let's do it, right? Freak sack. So, anyways, ready for reassemblies. Yeah. Well, I got the uh, the bolts all cigarette there. I got some friggin' red Loctite. I was using uh, monkey spit for a while there, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't uh, doesn't stand the cigarette. I don't think so. I know friggin' Loctite works. So we'll grab this. You know, I mean, if you're building a tractor and shit, you want to experiment with friggin' monkey spit. You know, whatever. But uh, Yo, ladies, man, we're going to use something we know works. That's not the right way. So, anyways, just friggin' cigarette these back in here. Torque them down to about a friggin' billion friggin' son of bitches. And we'll start stabbing this piece of shit back together. That should be fun, eh? Frick sack. Anyways. I don't know if you're going to be able to make this out or not, but I got a friggin' 24 inch pry bar under the frig sacker and I got that under my arm. Then I can hold that down while I friggin' try to sag your butt with a friggin' sacker. Try to line that up and shit. Oh, I need an extra hand. Where the fuck's polyester? Ah, oh, 
Ah, you slut. Ah. There we go. Okay. You slut. Ah. Ah. Okay. Now, how the fuck do I get that in there? Huh? Just like quit, boys. Just like quit. Now, I probably put that in too soon and needed to do something else. So, just let me, let me think about this for a minute. I've got my nut and my bolt, so I'll clean that up on the wire for Freak Sacker while I'm thinking about this for a minute. And a little cheech. All right, so I might as well put a little Loctite on there. Just took a big pry bar, shoved it in there, and brought that down a little bit to line up the little a little notchy notchy in the frigosactor there. Put a little bit of that on there. Then I decided I'm too old for friggin' uh, the hand ratchet and shit anymore, so broke out the friggin' for frigosactor. Not the friggin'. Does the cigarette. This here's a little bit cigarette because the threads are all really freaking rough, so I probably get her down. Oh, they seem to be going in there kind of, you know, see, good to there. She don't want to go. So I'll have to get her down onto the ground and we'll just freaking absolutely hog on that, but uh, yeah. Put the freaking, put the freaking uh, brake back on there and the freaking wheel and tighten that son bitch down. We're good to go, boys. Well, I still got a cigarette the uh, for Frigasacker. Buddy's coming over tomorrow with him scanner, I guess. So and him's lawn tractor and him's welder and different things. So that should be fun times. Probably fix a van, do some trap room, freaking, you know, do some welding. Beg my pardon. Well, that's fucking bullshit. These uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. These friggin' threads are just friggin' cigarette. They don't, uh, that one's all right. I didn't friggin' cigarette that one in. But that one's all cigarette too. So we got no choice but to uh, cigarette this guy on and just hold her on with the frigosacker. So yeah, that's friggin' pretty much bullshit as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I guess when you buy friggin' cheap shitty parts, that's what you got. Beg my part. Cigarette that guy down, but uh, I don't got the long enough friggin' socket, so might have to just cigarette it. I don't know. Beg my pardon.
What are you doing? You want a treat? You want a treat? Oh my goodness. I said a word. Eh? I said a word. Oh crap. Uh oh. There's only one left. There's only one left. I'll have to bust her in half. Oh, they're gonna be pissed off. Here, have a treat. Have a treat. Oh, you love that cat. Oh, my finger. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, we freaking scored these ones last time. They're 20% off, and they're they're a little bit bigger. So, you got half of that one and half of the small one. And then you guys, you can teach. Beg my pardon. Freaking battery died. That never freaking happens. But uh, and then the dogs are bothering me for a treat. So, beg my pardon. Let's look big dirty. Well, we've run into another problem now, for frick's sakes. We got uh, running boards on Big Dirty, so you can see there's a little bit of room over there, and a little bit less room over here, but for the most part, it's relatively freaking centered. But if you come under here, you have yourself a gander. You can see we're almost touching over there, right? So the front should be okay, but I don't know how good you can see it or not, but the back, we're like eight inches away from the frame at the back, but the friggin' cigarette butt is only like three inches away from the running board. So that's just awesome as fuck. So there's a better, better friggin' shot. You can see, I don't know, two and a half inches, three inches tops before the, uh, well, it's even less over here. I can, can't even get the toe of my boot under the friggin' for frig sacker. But up here, like it's it's friggin' cigarette butts worth of friggin' cigarettes, right? So I'm gonna need like another friggin' stack of these, but I mean that's so floppy, you know, you want another friggin' six friggin' joints in the for frig sacker, right? But anyways, fuck sakes. And really, I don't know, this can't be right because the only way you can cigarette the friggin' arms is straight in and these ones cigareting back, right? So even if Big Dirty didn't have running boards, like, look at what we're dealing with here. See, we got that transmission mount there and then we got the front for friggin' sackers. Now I could cigarette it up underneath that, right? But you see that it's got that little tab hanging down, right? So that'll just friggin' sit, you know, the whole weight of the vehicle would be on that little friggin' tab or whatever, the, you know, that little space between the, the flat parts. I don't know how to explain it, but there's a little flat piece right there. It's not very big. You can't friggin' stick, stick nothing in there. So it's like, I don't know where the fuck you would even lift Big Dirty up with this piece of shit, but this is really starting to piss me off, you know? Like, I want to lift my fucking truck up in the air for fuck's sakes, but uh, anyways, boys, I'm getting all worked up. I need to cheat, so a uh, better time as any to friggin' film a THC show, so we'll shut her down for now. But uh, any words, friggin', don't forget to check out one book by Cam. There's a new friggin' store tab. It's like the, the home store or storefront or something, I don't know. But uh, anyways, there's two stores on the friggin' website now. Friggin' uh, the original friggin' store and then the new store. And uh, we're gonna have patches and hats and decals and all type of shit on there too. So friggin' rights, stay tuned for that. You, should probably, you could probably order one right now to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, all the bugs aren't worked out yet as far as like shipping and this and that and whatever and bling bling was it was it. So anyways, friggin' uh, Beg my part for that, but uh, anyways, don't forget to like, share, favorite the movie. Hell's putting up big time. Pug one loves that kind of big time, and uh, there you go. Another Digger Pug one production. So until tomorrow. Don't let the watchers get you.